Okay. We are live. Live in the building. Okay. Um, how's the see how the quality is looking like? Excellent connection. Can I hear myself? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good, we good. Alright, alright. Okay, from here is like two microphones going at the same time, but I think we good though. Um, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? Okay, I see everybody here early. Okay, we got uh Kelly in the building, Outlaw, um, Lime Rick, <laughs> Limerick, Larry, um, Hunter Gaming. Okay, what's good? What's good? Okay, saying warning, current bit rate is lower than recommended. Okay, I hope you're not lagging. Hope you're not lagging. All right, so let's talk about. Okay, I've won a ninety percent. Yo, it, it it's true, yo. Um, talking to um, Enotech looks amazing. Ninety nine percent users will cover it up with an ugly case. Believe it or not, I rock out with a case for my iPhone twelve, but I rock out with the Pataka, the Pataka series phone, a uh, Pataka case. Oh, it's kind of beat up, but. Actually, it looks pretty good. I like the way this case looks. So it depends on the case too. Depends on what case you use. But anyway, um, iPhone 13 has been rumored, or should I say leaked, by John Prosser. So shout out to the homie John Prosser, doing it big, leaking out all this stuff. And I got to tell you guys, this this is the phone. This is the phone that maybe you should skip the iPhone 13 and go straight to the 14. Um, but also, I was watching Tylos of Tech. He's another uh, YouTuber. He does he cover Apple content and stuff. He was saying that it's it might be a good idea to get every single iPhone every year, but trade in or sell the old iPhone because iPhone value is pretty like it's pretty high. So if you sell an iPhone 12 Pro or 12, you could get like maybe 800, 900. You could get it at a very reasonable deal. How is there an iPhone 14? Yo, let me let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me go to John. Let me go, let's go to front base front page tech. Getting excited. There, there's there's an iPhone 13 or uh, 14. They got the leaks and schematics out. Okay, is it safe to show my screen? So yeah, so this is a an exclusive, right? Let me let's see if we could do this. Uh, screen. I gotta work on my transitions and stuff, but this is the iPhone 14, 2020, uh, 2022 iPhone 14 and AR. I throw this link in the description or in the chat. But essentially, this is on how the iPhone 14 is rumored to look. So, no more the notch. We have a hole punch camera, um, and it looks, it just looks beautiful. Now, honestly. When you look at a hole punch on a on a smartphone, it just it looks like an Android device. But for the most part, this is rumored to be the next generation iPhone. Well, not the 13, but the 14. And you can even have an AR so you can see how it looks in your living room or in your room. Um, and overall, it's just taking the iPhone 4 design, and there's no camera bump whatsoever. It's just taking that seamless that seamless design of the iPhone. Uh, Four and really and truly, you got the new camera grills. Let's zoom this in a little bit. You got the camera grills. Lightning is still here to stay. I know there was rumors going around saying that Apple is um Apple is is removing the lightning, but it's gonna be here to stay. We have a glass back, so it's gonna be fully glass, no frosted glass, and a titanium titanium uh, frame. And we have the classic iPhone four buttons with that switch. This this looks amazing. Look the like look at this, yo. And especially with that gold color. Now I know this is like a salmon color, but once once Apple put their special touches to it, I can only imagine. Um but yeah, that's the iPhone 14 and here's how it looks in black. And here's this color. Now this color isn't official. This is the color that John Prosser would like to see, but I'm sure we're definitely going to get a black iPhone. That's like without a doubt, but the iPhone 14 looks incredible. It looks amazing. And I can't wait. And here's the wallpapers. Here's the rumored wallpapers. It looks it looks that good. But yeah, that's the iPhone 14. That's coming next year, 2022. 
Um, in terms of the iPhone 13, it's still it's still um, planning on coming out next week, or pre-orders is gonna start next week, and you could be able to pick it up in stores the following week. But um, the iPhone 13 will still be a fantastic phone. All right, let me see what the comments are saying. Okay, we got 46 viewers in here. What's good, y'all? What's up? Bro, how is there an iPhone 14 and there isn't a iPhone 13? Yeah, I mean, I know. Technology progresses so fast that by the time you blink your eyes, we'll see the iPhone 15 or 16. You can't, you can't outpace technology. You know, if you need a phone right now, get the th iPhone 13. Get, like, just get it. Uh, what does Frogfish mean? I'm not sure. Yes, already? Yeah, already. This is the iPhone 14. Now, this isn't like this isn't nothing new. We, like we seen we seen stuff like this before. Look what happened with the iPhone 7. Right when the iPhone 7 first came out, we started getting leaks and rumors about the iPhone 8, which is the iPhone 10. So it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up with technology, but the best thing you could do is just embrace it and just if I need a phone. I need a phone. If I don't, then I'm good. If you have an iPhone 12, you might not need another iPhone until X amount of years anyway. But for the most part, this is gonna be this is gonna be amazing. Uh, five cameras. One, two, three, four. Nah. Well, this is the lidar scanner. This is not a camera. This is the lidar scanner. Um, so yeah, you're still gonna have three cam um three cameras in, on the rear and then one camera on the front iPhone 14 will have a live wallpapers. Uh, live wallpapers are on the iPhone now. I don't know why iPhone users are not demanding live wallpapers. Well, really and truly, I'm not sure what you mean. You're talking about on the home screen? Because live, live wallpapers is present on the iPhones now, but only on the lock screen. I, I'm sure you're talking about the, the um, home screen. Okay, let me switch this back. Yes, I'm on the PC right now. I'm on the PC. Is there a Face ID in the leaks? Yes, the Face ID, believe it or not, this this might sound bizarre, but it's like, it's either going to be on the bezel, or is it going to be underneath the display? Now, I know, that sounds a little unrealistic, but this is just looking at the, the rumors now. As time go on, it's going to, like, as time go on, it's going to mature, everything is going to start to be a little bit more realistic, in a sense, like, as time go on, Okay, this is coming. This is coming. Uh, wait, no camera bumps? Yep. Nope, no camera bumps whatsoever. It's going to be just like the iPhone 4. And of course, as you guys know, we will see we will see an Apple event uh, next week. Next week, Tuesday, we're going to see the reveal of the iPhone uh, 13. I almost call it the 14. But if we go to Apple.com, let me take it here. It starts at 10 a.m., right? Pacific time. Let me switch my screen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is this is the Apple event. It's official. 9:14. I'm gonna be watching on on my Apple TV. And this is the event that we all been waiting for: the reveal of the iPhone 13, the Apple Watch Series 7, um, potentially brand new AirPods. I think we will see it at this event but it's not going to be released until September 30th um, and that's basically it so it's, it's iPhone season would would love to have an M1 chip and receive active cooling for hardcore gaming on mobile yes I really want that active cooling on the iPhone because the iPhone it's just overheats so quickly yo. It, it overly heats so quick it overheats so quickly to the point where the screen is dimming, then my battery health is going down. Apple need to do something with the cooling on the iPhones. Seriously, it's really it's it's really terrible if you ask me. It it just overheats so quickly. But um but nonetheless, I I like to rest my phone up anyway. Um so yeah, so that's basically the Apple event. We're going to see um three new Apple products. I I feel like I'm missing something, but the iPhone 13 the iPhone 13 Pro, the Pro Max, the Mini, and the Apple Watch Series 7 featuring a 44, uh, a 45mm and a 44, yeah, 44mm and a 45mm Apple Watch. Um, and yeah, that's going to definitely make its way up into the Apple lineup. Like right now, this is the worst time to buy anything from Apple.
because we could be seeing some brand new IMAX the following month or potentially this month. We don't know yet, but we could be seeing the 27-inch iMac featuring that M2 chip or the M1X, whatever Apple's going to call it. Whoa, this looks so dated now. Um, we, we we might see a brand new iPad 9th generation featuring, I, I don't even know what chip they on right now, but yeah, we, we might see some new iPads except for the iPad Pro. So there's a lot of new things coming out for Apple, just making it on time for the holiday season. In terms of AirPods Pro, we won't see that until next year. Hey, WAP is back in the house. WAP, WAP, WAP. Okay. How's the quality, y'all? The quality is good? Hope the quality is good. But wait, why, am I, why is it saying 60? Alright, whatever. Yeah, so brand new AirPods. Um, essentially, it's going to be the standard AirPods, but it's taking the iPad. Oh, I said iPad. The AirPods Pro design, removing the air tips. And in favor of just a universal uh, fit. Lowering the stems. It's going to be pretty good. I ain't going to lie. I can't wait to start making content. I know I've been missing. I know I've been AFK lately. But man, I've been working on some serious stuff here. And I, I just can't wait for you guys to see what I've been working on. I, you know, I did an update room video so a room tour video is coming this weekend actually you know I poured my heart out into it it's gonna be nice and um and yeah you know I, I like to let videos breathe too let you guys keep up with some of the videos that I've been working on and this video right here this is gonna be one of those videos yo this is gonna be one of those videos ah uh, okay everything is good sounds good yeah okay so everything is good with the stream alright so yeah so that's what's new going on with Apple now, I want to shift my focus to Marquez Brownlee. Now, honestly, it's not really about Marquez, but I just got a, I just got a package, right? I just got a package from Phone Rebel, Everything Apple Pro. Shout out to Everything Apple Pro. He sent me out his Gen 2 cases. So, um, Everything Apple Pro sent out Gen 2 of the Phone Rebel cases. He enjoyed the video that I made. I made a video, uh, I was probably one of the first persons on YouTube to make a video on the Phone Rebel cases, and um, I he lo you know he absolutely loved what he saw, and he just sent out some cases as a thank you, so it's just a gift from the Phone Rebel team, and yeah, so shout out to, shout out to everything Apple Pro, he's the one that makes all these, uh, these models of the iPhone, he, you know, he, he, he's been AFK too lately, but I know he's been working hard on the cases, and yeah, so I shout out to the Phone Rebel team for that. Now, that's how it's done. That's exactly how it's done. I wish a lot of larger size YouTubers would be able to acknowledge the smaller creators because I feel like the larger creators don't give a crap about the smaller creators. And and I'm not really calling myself a small creator because I have 150,000 subscribers, but... These guys are way bigger than me in terms of subscriber count. So it's like the fact how you took the time out to send out some cases, that like that means a lot. So that means that you really you care about your supporters. And if you guys been a long time subscriber, you guys understand that you know it was it, it was a it was a back and forth with Marquez Brownlee, right? I sent him some beats, right? I sent him some beats back in uh, January of 2019, right? January 2019, I sent Marquez Brownlee some beats because I figured it was a good idea. He has his intros. I felt like he could use a beat and maybe credit me out. That's what I was thinking back in the days. And um, he didn't say nothing. He didn't reply to the email. And I was like, cool. You know, he, he, he chanced it. He, didn't, he probably didn't see it. He didn't open it. Cool. All right. So later that year, I installed an email tracker. Okay, so now what an email tracker does, I can see whoever opens up an email, all right? So uh, April of 2019, that same year, 2019, I noticed this beat sounds familiar, and I put two and two together. That is my beat. And technically speaking, Tommy Lee, he, you know, he, me and Tommy, we, we produced this beat. We worked together and stuff like that. So I noticed he used that beat. That I send them. Now I wasn't picturing. I wasn't putting two and two, two and two together. That okay, he downloaded the beat and used it on his channel. Since he didn't reply to that email, 
I'm thinking he just stole the beat because I'm not thinking about that email. I'm like, all right, he didn't reply, he didn't see it. So I was like, whatever. So I made it a big deal. I, you know, I was freaking out. I sent a tweet. Um, I made a video. I made a video on this very channel explaining the fiasco. And it's just like, I made a big video. It was a big video. I wasn't cursing him out. I wasn't, it wasn't, it was just like, you know, just letting him know like, yo, yo, yo. Now, honestly, how can I say? Honestly, when I made that video, sent a couple of tweets, IG DMs, I finally sent him another email, and he finally got back to me. Now, I don't want to expose any emails here, but we have a back and forth email uh, between me and Marquez, and he he actually he actually sent me an email uh, replying that email of me sending the beats. And yeah, it was just like he he wanted to put it on top of my um my inbox. That's cool, cause as YouTubers we're getting brand deals, sponsorships, and stuff like that. So that's like then yeah. So he sent that email and he explained to me like, yo, I saw this video. Uh, you could have just emailed me, email me anytime. Let me pull up exactly what he said, man. I don't I don't want to leak anything, but I kind of want to just refresh my memory. So boom. All right. He asked me, "Okay, will you like what's what's your YouTube? Send me your YouTube link. Send me Tommy's Instagram. He credit me, right? Let me let me even pull up the video cuz you guys probably thinking I'm capping here. I'm not lying here. I'm not lying here. Let me type it in. It was a Tesla video that Marquez made. This was this was 2019 old stuff, but that just like when everything Apple Pro sent me his cases, that's when Marquez was, was that's what he's supposed to do, right? I just feel like just as an appreciation, like yo, thank you for the beat, hit like hold this, what I don't know, just something, just like a little kickback. That's what I was expecting, but the way I handled that situation, I did not like the way I handled it at all. But um, that's just me. All right, let me let me pull it up. Let me pull up this video. This is the video, all right, and my name is credited on this, right? Let me let me let me switch my screens real quick. Okay, so yeah, look at this. All right, background beat. Back, uh, backtrack by Tommy Lee Beats Instagram, and he and he linked my channel. So this is my real channel, Simply Pops, and yeah, he credited me. So we we you know we went back and forth on the email, but it's like, fam, why didn't you just download the beat, right? Download the beat, but by the time it take you to download the beat, you could reply back to me. It takes two seconds, but he was saying that he was he was at this Tesla event. So okay, cool. But it's like, still, you could have replied, like, yo, thanks for the beats, bro. I credit you on the next video, whatever, whatever the case may be. He just downloaded the beat, and that's it. Kept it moving. And then he used it in on, uh, on uh, technically it was March. I said April. My apologies for that. But he used it on this video. And I'm just thinking, like, yo, that's why I, that's why I made a big fuss out of it. But people going to say I'm this and I'm that. <laughs> that. That's crazy. But hear me out now. This it, it doesn't end right there, though. It doesn't end right there. And look, people talking about the beat. I like the way how the beat drop right there. And I'm just like, man, I didn't get no credit out of it. But by the time you even credit it, it's like the video already took off. But hey, whatever. All right. That's clear, right? I did ask for a little interview. Maybe if you want to, you know, clear some things up. Because I made a video on my channel and stuff like that. So, But he didn't respond. You know what I mean? But I have this email track. So I see you and you open up the email. Cool. Next year, right? 2020. The same time of March, he used another beat. Now, mind you, I sent him a batch of beats, right? I sent him, I uh, probably sent him like six, seven beats. A batch of beats, right? He used another beat. Now, at that point, I didn't even, I didn't even say nothing because it's like, it's just making, it's making my channel look bad because it's, it's, it makes it seem like I'm begging for attention. But it's like, that's not cool, dude. It's not, it's not cool to be, like it's not like a picture, right? You're just taking a picture of a thumbnail and you just okay, that's it. I I somewhat understand that, but I always credit everything Apple Pro. I credit him when I use his uh, his videos and stuff. But we talking about a song, you know? YouTube is normally strict with songs and stuff like that. But I it's I I hated the way I Marquez handled that man. Um, okay, All right? 2020 used it. I didn't say nothing. Right? Maybe I should have said something. Now this year, this year again, he used another beat, yo. He used another beat. 
Like this is this is crazy to me, yo. He used another beat this year and I sent him another email. <laughs> he opened it six times, didn't say nothing. So I was like, yo, that's to me, I I hated the way Al Marquez handled that situation. Unprofessional. And you think this dude, like, all right, he makes professional videos. The way he makes his videos is good and all, but come on, dude. If that was your beat or if that was your merch or whatever, you wouldn't want nobody taking your 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 designs and putting it. And I think he had a situation like that where somebody was just ripping off a design and putting it on Redbubble. That a site called Redbubble is where you can create your own shirts and sell them. That was beef. Like Marquez didn't want that, and he had a, he, and he had a team with with you know with his lawyers and stuff. But I I hated the way he handled that. Um, so that was the fiasco with me and Marquez. Um, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't hate Marquez. I just didn't like the way he handled that situation at all. Now, um, there's certain videos that I just, I don't, I, I just don't get that, yo. Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong for complaining? Because if, if I say I'm this and I'm that, people are gonna say I'm complaining, I'm this, and I, I don't, I don't get that, yo. I really don't get that. But hey. He's a bigger YouTuber, right? He's a bigger YouTuber. I, he's right. I'm wrong, right? I'm just begging for attention, right? That's not right, man. <sighs> that's not right, yo. Um, I re uh, um, wow, that's messed up. I always thought you deserved his credit. Always thought you, yeah, for real. Damn, Marquez acting like that. That's yo, that's not cool. You thinking, you thinking Marquez is cool and. It, I mean, I'm not saying he's not a cool dude, but it's like, man, this is the dude that we're dealing with here, yo. Copyright strike his video. Now, the problem with copyright striking, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Ruffle, ruffle, <laughs> can't even talk right now. I don't want to just, I don't want to take it there. I don't know, call me soft, whatever, but for some reason, I just want the credit, yo. That's all I wanted. I don't want, I don't want to get into like no copyright strike roar and, now I gotta talk to his lord. Like, I don't want that to happen. But if it continues and if it persists, I may need to take action here. But then again, it's not like he's taking my whole video and not crediting. It. But but here's the thing though. Here's the thing. If if he use somebody's video, he'll credit somebody, right? He'll credit some. He'll, he'll credit. Uh, I think for his iPhone 13 models, he credit Sonny Dixon, right? He, he shout out, thanks Sonny Dixon for sending out these models. Do the same thing for me. You're not going to, like, why not? Yes, I'm a smaller creator, but at the same time, why not? Like, that's respect. You get what I'm saying? The same beat, y'all. The same beat. For, and this has been going on for three years now. All right, what if it's his team? That's a chance. It could be his team. It could be his team, yo. But... I don't know, man. That's Marquez for you, y'all. That's Marquez. The second biggest tech creator. That's that's him. That's him. <laughs> and this is the, I'm looking at the email right now. I'm looking at the email right now. And 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 yeah, man, like that's that's crazy, yo. And that's and that's basically it. Yo, stop sending that 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 yo, I'm not sending no more beats. That was it. But the thing is, bro, the thing is, bro, I sent him a batch of beats. And what he's doing is he's basically just using one beat at a time. So one year he used one beat, another year he used another beat, and here we are in 2021, he used another beat. And mind you, I sent him six beats at one time. That one time that I didn't know this was going to happen, he he's using one beat per year, basically. So every year it's like he's just using one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. That that's I I hated that, bro. Uh, it could be his team, but still, that's unacceptable. Even even from a team perspective, that's unacceptable. All right, I download this beat. Let's make let's make a folder, right? Simply pops, and Tommy beats. Why not? By the time it takes for you to download a beat, bro, it's a quick reply. Thanks. I will use this on X, Y, and Z. It takes two seconds. Yeah, that's petty, yo. I I don't care, bro. Y'all 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 need to know, bro. That's that's what I'm dealing with right now. I, like I haven't talked about it ever since in 2019, but now 
I'm getting tired of it now. Now I'm getting tired of it. You know, I talked about it. I made a big big deal out of it. And maybe I am making a big deal out of it now. But it's just like, fam, I'm sending you emails left and right. You're opening them and not responding them. Like, that. that's unprofessional, bro. That's that's unprofessional. Yeah, and that's, and, and that's the biggest YouTuber right there, right? That's crazy, bro. But yeah, that's 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 all I wanted to say. But it's just like it just reminded me, like after getting the everything after Apple Pro cases, like just just as a gift, as saying thank you, I thought about Marquez, like the way I, I how he handled that was like, yo, like what? But anyway, um, but that's just it, you know. Um, it's not. I'm not trying to beef. I'm not trying to. I'm not really trying to make this a big deal. I just want the credit. That's all. You know, that just appreciate some credit, some love for the video cuz bro, you have 14 million subscribers, right? You can really like 14 million. That's a that like you you praised, you know what I mean, by the tech community. The the quality is good, so it's like anything that you like you credit with, you can really help somebody out like that. And the fact how the beats are so dope that you're willing to use it on the video. I appreciate you using the beats, but it's like by the time you do all of that, just credit, yo, just credit. But it's 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 just like it feel like a robbery, bro. Uh, maybe the problem. Talk. I don't know, man. <laughs> Y'all say talk to the police. I, yo, listen, man. Listen, man. That's just how he is, bro. I, you know, I don't want to get into no legal battle. It's just that's just how it is, bro. That's just how it is, bro. Um, and like I said, I'm not. That's just how it is, man. That's and that's where we stand right now. That's where we standing right now. And that's it. Oh, okay. Happy I got that off my chest, yo. Okay, um, I don't even know what, to, what else to say after that. And I'm not taking away from his, all right, maybe make a, and let him, <laughs> yo, I'm not trying to cancel Marquez. It's just like, it's like, it's like WTF, yo. It's like, yo. I don't know, man. I don't even know if y'all want to. And I would love to talk to Marquez, you know, on some, like, not face-to-face, -face, but, like, maybe, like, just like a chat, you know, not just like an email. Because it has to be a reason on why, you get what I'm saying? It has to be a reason. You, yeah, man, these YouTubers, yo, these bigger YouTubers, they out here disrespecting smaller creators, yo. And, like, listen, listen, it's not, I'm I'm not saying that I'm, I'm small and all this. It's just like, man, that's crazy, but... Nonetheless, that that's that's all I wanted to say with with Marquez. Um, I got a very special video coming out tomorrow. Um, you know, and I I work so hard on this video, y'all. I work so hard. It's my room setup video. I you know I I I poured my heart out onto this video. So um so it's gonna be out sometime during the weekend. I'm not sure either Saturday or Sunday. I I'm not really sure. I'm not sure when I'm going to drop it out, but it's between those two days, and you guys are in for a real treat. That video is going to be marvelous. It's going to be that good. Okay, make a Reddit post and let him can let them cancel him. I mean, all right. All right. <laughs> let me, all right. <laughs> that video that I made about Marquez is private. This technically is unlisted, all right, because we squashed the beef. Like technically, it it wasn't beef, but it was just like concerning. Cause once he credited me, I was like, okay, he credited me, let's keep it moving. But ever since then, I I haven't went back to that video. But the video now it aged kind of poorly because I was basically saying he stole the beat, but he didn't technically steal the beat. He just put the beat on without no credit. It is what it is, though. Um, that video is unlisted. Um, I could. I don't know if y'all want to see it, <laughs> but it wouldn't really make any sense anyway, cause he didn't steal it. But what's up? 
I got your back. Everybody saying what's up now. Those of you guys are just tuning into the chat. I just told this long story about Marquez. I don't even really feel like getting back into it, but basically, Marquez he used a beat that I sent him back in 2019 January, and I made a video thinking that he stole that beat, but he just used basically. All right, I sent him an email in January of 2019. He used the beat in uh, on. Uh, Back in uh, March, right? I'm thinking he stole it without credit in or whatever. And then, yeah, basically he just took the beat, no credit. And I think that's just, that's wrong. By the time you download the beat, X, Y, and Z, you should be good to go. Like, you, sh you should credit. You should let me know that, okay, I download the beat, boom. I don't know, go back to the stream. That That's just, I. That that's that's poor, bro. That's unacceptable, and from a dude that makes professional videos and, you know, that handles things professionally, you would think he'll handle this like a champ. I, I just did not like the way I handled that at all, but anyway, anyway, um, that's just, that's just how it is. But then you got somebody like Everything Apple Pro, I like, I like Simply Pop's video, let's send him some cases. Matter of fact, I should unbox some of these cases right now, yo. The Phone Rebel cases... It's just a gift from the team, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this is how it's done. This is how it's done, yo. That's how it's done. I was gonna unbox it, but I'm, I wanna, I wanna do like a professional unboxing. Um, or maybe, maybe it's not necessary. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Um. I might end out the stream. I just wanted to come on here real quick, talk to you guys for a little bit. I apologize for my absence. I know, I know, I haven't uploaded for like six days, but hear me out. This video that you guys are gonna see this weekend, my room, my updated room video, it's gonna be one of those videos that you guys are gonna just enjoy, yo. You're gonna definitely gonna need some kind of like, you're gonna need like a drink. It, it's a, it's a 14-minute video. And I think, I believe it's going to be one of those videos that you guys might really enjoy. For real. Alright guys, um, yeah, I think we can, I think we can end this out. Alright guys, so, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. No video today. Um, and my apologies, I'll be right back on schedule We have the Apple event I might come back on here, talk to you guys for a little bit On some last minute stuff um, um, And then, yeah, we'll see what happens I have a bunch of package Like, it, it's a lot of stuff going on You guys are in for a treat Alright guys, um, until next time Peace Or, yeah, peace